Hello there, guys and girls. This is the Prussian Prince, and I'm here with Dplex. Hey, everyone. And Jackie Fish. Hello. Hey, what up, guys? All right. So we are doing uh, another Hearts of Wine 3 episode over here. Well. Yep. And uh, we're taking off where we were last time. I've deployed my troops in France, on the northern side of the Belgian border, so to say. And um, yeah, now the waiting begins on my behalf. Yeah. I am ready to go to war with the Ottomans. Hopefully I can make it a quick war and just starve them all of supplies with my superior navy and just end this war quickly so I can prepare to invade France. <laughs> no, I, not before I invade you. <laughs> no, I'll invade you. I'm not sure if you saw this. Like, I just told uh, Prussian Prince that uh, the top rated comment on one of my videos, on my latest one of these, is right. you should invade France Love. after the Germans. Love. That'd be interesting <laughs> if you actually could. But yeah, if, you could, if you become invited to the the, the Enfante, yeah. um, I think it pretty much rules out any chance of you. Yeah, yeah. But it's always fun to joke about. Yeah, it. yeah, no, no. Sure. <laughs> yeah. All right, okay. just taking a look at the Russians now. And uh, make sure you give all your uh, like higher headquarters leaders, because it doesn't automatically give like my army group or my army or my HQs uh, leaders. No, no, it does my normal cores, but not my actual proper ones so make I've, sure to do that yeah i've got pretty much someone on every single division as well and it seems like i have quite a few in in uh, in stock so to say i've even got montgomery here commanding the first <laughs> infantry division <laughs> Wait, what, what, what was his first name uh i don't have no idea i just know him montgomery, montgomery r so it could have been like was it robert or richard or richard yeah they're very english names yeah um, what does like the skill rating mean, and do the, like the certain traits actually affect the uh, entire everyone under them? It, it depends on where your leader is assigned. Yeah. Uh, which, where, what is he assigned to? Well, leader? nothing. Yeah, I'm just, I was just curious before I assign anyone. So, okay. Like... So here's an in-depth guide. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so for division level, each percent. I mean, each skill level increases the combat efficiency by 5%. Then for, like, cores, it increases the reinforcement chance by 1% per skill level, I think. And for army level, each skill level increases, well, decreases the... No, actually increases army organization by plus 1%. Okay. 1%, whatever. And... Uh, for army group, it just reduces supply consumption. Again, if you have like five skill level, then it's yeah. minus five percent supply a consumption for all the units under that army group. I think. Okay. What about traits? Do traits affect everyone underneath it, or? Yeah, but they trickle down a lot. Like they get okay. all. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go create a since people want to see us obviously like manage most of the armies ourselves and everything. Uh, since I'm not a big naval guy or air guy, I'm just going to create um, the the Royal Navy command in London that commands the Navy itself. Cause, and without perhaps commanding the transport sections, but I'm not going to have time to sit and like manage every submarine that I'm building to go around and do <laughs> this and that. So yeah. I'll just take and create a an army out of it. And I'll just, just destroy this core here. I'll just name the army. Uh... HM Royal Navy. Like, there's actually some crazy people in multiplayer. They, they control everything. Like, even if they play Japan, nothing on AI. They control everything at the same wow. time. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, so like it's so stressful though. <laughs> no, so no, no. Yeah. They just play on like speed two or three, and they're fine. They can do everything. Wow. I guess that... a lot of Starcraft for them. <laughs> yeah, that APM. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I've got everything in Second Army Command now. That's going to be an auto, and its objective is just going to be: if you put it on Berlin, they'll probably move around like the the, the yeah. Pomeranian coast and the Baltics and stuff like that. Right. Everyone ready to start? Yep. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, and I don't need to make an air force uh, yet because <laughs> you can't. No, exactly. <laughs> yes. Think in World War Two. <laughs> yeah, I've got a general called French. General French. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he'll be useful to defend the French against the Italians. Yeah, perhaps. <laughs> oh, 
are just useful to to defend against the the Germans. But, but I do know that I have forts against the Yeah, enemy. yeah, it should be fine. They shouldn't be crossing. I th I think that I'll be getting a quite a big task in defending the Belgian or, or yeah. defending the Belgians. They're gonna get curb stomped, but later holding the border between the Belgians and French. But uh, I reckon we should be fine, and with a bit of a... I mean, I've got five divisions in every section, so he won't break through. Could you build yeah. forts here, I say? Mm. On the Belgian border. I, I, I mean, perhaps just yeah. one level forts. I mean, I think you've got... I don't know how many you got done by the Bagnol line. Well, you, don't, you don't have any yet, but I'm pretty sure you get Oh, yeah, you don't have any builds. yet. The Germans have forts. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure you get an event which builds them, though. Wow. Maybe. The, no, the, the line was built after World War II, I noticed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, so. um, yeah before the... Second World War, yeah, sometime. Yeah, yeah before World War Two and after World yeah. War One, so I, I wouldn't expect seeing any. Okay, like ten more days, and then I go to war with the Ottomans, which is cool. That's cool. I'm we'll ready to for you. <laughs> invade them with a decent amount of men straight away. Yep. I just need to get some organization. Cause I just gave them all le new leaders because quite a few of them didn't have them, so they're just. Regaining organization. Yeah. Which is just good. And then I'll send over my cores and then I'll send over the headquarters and I should pretty much take it. I might also send some transports down to the bottom bit of Africa where I'm chilling by oh. Abyssinia and just invade the bottom bit of the Ottomans. If you can yeah. see by, by Nedge, I might just send troops yeah, over through that. there because I doubt they have many troops actually defending that. Uh, I actually remember talking about um, this. You know, South Africa? Someone yeah. got really upset that I freed them because people, <laughs> gener people generally take the words before they think. I had zero troops in South Africa. When I freed them, they gained like at least four divisions with quite yeah. good troops in them that can easily take out the Germans in Southern uh, Africa. Yeah. And he said that it's begging to annoy him since <laughs> I am British. And I told him, if you're even gonna make a statement and if you're even gonna complain, Please spell your words correctly. It's beginning to annoy me since you are British. So, um, <laughs> please. Bitch slap. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, but the, in all honesty, to reply to wherever, I won't give any more away. I'll keep India, definitely. But <laughs> I, I felt that yeah. the South Africans, I mean, they're even free in, what's it called? In, in before when you play Hearts of Iron 2? Yeah, it's because they all... Or Hearts of Iron 3 in, in the original vanilla. Yeah, yeah, they got freed after that, so... Colonial command. Let me see here. Mm -hmm. cool. All right. Just look at that line. <laughs> no, I wish I could see. I imagine it's looking beautiful. Have you Just spread everything out? Everywhere. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Is that five in each? Yep. That's five in each. <laughs> I have more than you. You have five and fifteen. I have five and nineteen. Yeah, I've got five brigades instead of four brigades. Well, that's still not all my troops. I have another oh. core. Size isn't everything. No, but I'm just I'm saying that it's like, <laughs> like I've got you've got five units in each, right? Yeah. I've got five as well, but I've got four, five brigades in every division instead of four. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's why mine are four three and three three. Yeah, that's quite good. I don't think I can produce any more of those because I don't have like superior firepower. It just started me off for those. So everything I produce after that will be. Yeah, most of these actually yeah. don't have that. It's only like a few of them. When do we even get a superior firepower? Was it on the land and what do you need? Some theory level, stuff, yeah. Yeah, level three and command structure. So that's almost done actually. Fourth core and fifth core is definitely the weakest because they mostly only have four brigades in them. Yeah. Yeah. Producing some submarines. Actually, like, I'm thinking of pulling back. Hang on, I'll show you on the map. Yeah, do one of those uh, tactical. Oh, you mean so that you're you're pulling back from Saint D, Luneville, and Schirmeck? Schirmeck? Um, uh, I'll show you on the map. Exactly. Oh, through the battle uh, planner. Yeah. yeah. I've just gone to war now. No, I'm not I... through the battle panel, but just. Battle just planner, so but just you know. those allied objectives thing. Oh. Yeah. I'll pull back to the rivers. I think that's maybe better. But I don't know, like... Yeah, so you mean you're defense. holding... I see, you're holding Epinal, Charmé. Yeah. 
But Maybe you should hold on Nancy. 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 Yeah. Or we could go through Belgium and defend there too. Do you mean that I attack Belgium? Mm, so I, I can't know. go in them. Well, yet. If we get some transit rights. <laughs> yeah. That's for transit rights. They're unlikely to do it. I'll give it yeah. a shot. Right, so you're declaring more in the Ottomans now. I've just done. I just paused it quickly so I can send out yeah. my navy just to okay. start patrolling and destroying yeah. their transports and shit. Are you gonna go in South of Africa and free that region? Are you gonna conquest them? What? Um, Libya. I pretty much just get the place in Libya, just below yeah. Sicily. That's what I get from the war. Like, oh, you did a acquired territory. Yeah, it just, it's just an event. It automatically does. Oh, it. right, all right. Yeah, you get the. Oh, you get the Af Italian uh, Africa, I guess. Yeah. Tripoli oh. and all that. Tobruk. Yep. Oh, this is great. You're at war with Ottoman Empire. Now it's my chance to attack you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything to do. <laughs> I'm just sat up here, just drinking my tea. <laughs> Got too much espionage. Pull that down. Very British. Got too many officers. Pull that down. More on research. I like it. And I'm really increasing my IC. I've, yeah, I'm building like 11 or 12 or whatever it was. That's gonna be nice. I have, in matter of fact, no IC in Ireland. I think I'll put some there for their growth. I can't free Ireland, but I could imagine how many people would be happy and how many people would be upset if I did it. So I'm just gonna not do anything. Well, now that you suggested that, people are gonna be Irish like, "Free Ireland!" Yeah. I've got so many <laughs> Irish viewers, so many British viewers that it's ah. Oh. <laughs> I feel guilty. Yeah. Well, you can't please everybody. True. <laughs> My stock but I promise I'll, I promise I'll name a few divisions like Enniskillen and Dublin and that stuff. And yeah, I was, I, I was, I said I was gonna name a few, um, ANSAC. Like I'm gonna make a whole core Ooh, out of infantry nice. and name them the ANSAC, and play that they're from Australia and New Zealand. <laughs> for the win. My supply of money is up pretty soon, which is not too good. Nope. Hopefully the, the AI will sort that out. Middle East command. Just looking at the borders yeah. that Germany has with Austria and Russia. Mm -hmm. Russia seems to be pretty geared up, but you know the part that sticks into Germany? That's pr probably going to be evened out pretty much into a straight line between Austria yeah. and Germany. At least it wasn't me, mine and Jackie Fishes, let's play. But when once that happened, our our Russian front became a stalemate. Me and Jackie couldn't make any progress, and they didn't make any progress. So the war is definitely going to be decided on the Western Front, I reckon. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I was only slowly like moving forward. It was taking a decent amount of time to actually do anything, and by then, like the Western Front was just getting wrecked. Wow, oh, the Russians have some really weird divisions. <laughs> they have only artillery divisions and such. That That's so weird because they can't even fight. In, in what region? Combat. Yeah, they'll just break off instantly. Yeah. I see the one they have two cavalry, or one cavalry and two artillery brigades in some of them. Yeah. Look in uh, the northern part. Yeah? Yeah, they, they have like two divisions of three art or something over there. Northern Ooh, side. Yeah, I see them at an HQ and three. What's the <laughs> point of that? It's three one, but it, the one is gonna be their defense, and that is gonna be pointless. So they yeah, can well, give up on even holding that. Yeah. Well, the HQs can't even fight, and They're the artillery can't fight either. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's AI in this game, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah. When me and Jackie played, we didn't have any leaders as well, so we never had any bonuses. So everyone just wrecked us. Yeah. But that was I bad. reckon. I reckon. I, I kind of like to go back and sort of at least sort of go through what went wrong. Kind of good to remove it out of your head. Yeah, well, so it was definitely... I didn't. I should have invaded Belgium and the Netherlands straight away. Yeah. And you should have had a stronger border against exactly. the, uh, the Italian. Italians. And yeah, uh, I, I declared war on... I didn't... And I should have actually won the war against Serbia and Romania, but it became a stalemate because there's there was no flanking abilities and for some reason yeah. the, the Montenegro boys won against my Austrians. So... I just didn't make any progress, and the Italians came without me being prepared. I was like, no, no, they're Italians. They'll be fine, you know. <laughs> and then they just, babidi boop -bop. And then France stormed in. Don't insult my nation. I will right, come right, and right. get you. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good joke. I'm sure you could 
completely destroy me at this time. Well, you're yeah. not touching Malta. You're not touching Malta. <laughs> yeah, because in fact, the garrison defending there has zero to zero. Oh, so it cool. is the best garrison I have. Can even appoint a leader to that one, might increase. Oh my god, supplies are so hard to get in Africa. I don't know why, my navy should be absolutely wrecking there, so I should be able to. All oh, my men are getting out of supply. Just uh, you got you got a port you got a port in Misurata, so mm. just fight till Tripoli, break them on the western side yeah. there, and you should be fine. Yeah, you need that port. I wish I could see what happens. I can only see stripes of the. Hey, you could attack the Ottomans, Franz. You could, I guess, go in and help Jackie, sort of. Uh, I don't have the event. Well, I don't have the the troops on neutrality. The... Neutrality. Oh, yeah. neutrality. I thought. The event would just automatically automatically issue it. Alright. Which means you're gonna be on your own. <laughs> yeah, it should be fine. I'm running out of fucking money though. I wish my navy or my the AI would actually start get, getting me some money. Because I've um, only got eight. Consumer goods. Dollars. Put up more on consumer goods and you can make money. Oh, really? Yeah, I have consumer goods. It says here. Uh, the more you have in, let me see here. I think it depends on your overall IC as well. But yeah, it says your money is produced by our nation's industrial capacity. But I've heard that if you put more on consumer goods, it'll increase your money as well because you sell it and stuff like that. It's consumption. <laughs> I heard. Mm. Could be Did wrong, but could be worth. Not like that. Could be worth it as well. I oh, think I'm check. Gonna, yeah, what? Check out the armor techs in technology tab, like. They all look like World War Two tanks. Yeah, the pictures. that's true. The light tank is kind of mm -hmm. meh. The, yeah, the armored the car brigade ones. looks fine, but the, the yeah. medium one looks like definitely looks <laughs> like a World War Two tank. Even a German one in my case. Yeah, Panzer IV, I think? Yeah, and that's a Panzer IV. Medium tank on... And maybe T-34. Yeah, Russian stuff. the one below that. True. And there's a Panther. Like a Stewart on the AEC cylinder, and then there's another Panther, I think. Oh no, that's a Cromwell, I think, on the medium. No, those are Germans. I can't really tell, it's too hard to see. But, anyways, Armored Car Brigade, Anti Tank Brigade, Anti Aircraft Brigade. Imagine how effective they could have been if they were in this war. <laughs> yeah, holy shit. That would have been insane. Yeah, you took Tripoli now, you should be fine. Just uh, you might have yeah. to prepare to lose the guys on in Tokra and yeah. Vitoria, but you should try and take Benghazi. Yeah, like all you need to do at this point is hold the ports, and yeah. then they'll be starved and they won't be able to attack you. Yeah, I kind of messed up. I should have taken that port a long time ago. It should have been the first thing I really did. Well, sometimes when you invade ports, they'll land the troops on the side of them because there's always generally troops. Yeah, I should have just invaded it straight away though, like before I did anything else. Right. Oh well, I just need to get to to branch and hopefully I can get supplied through there. So are you uh, Prussian? Don't you think you should hold Nancy? No, because there's a that's where the river runs. Oh yeah, there's a river. But you have four rivers there and you only have one in. The thing in is tool. that if you take a look at it, if you click on the province, it actually has ah uh, the other uh, port, the yeah. other rivers on in Metz and that stuff, right? Yeah, in Luneville. Charme, that's uh, that yeah. one. So yeah, I guess, the, I guess the river is located there, but it doesn't have any effect on that province. It's the province yeah. behind it. All right, makes sense. Well, then I just hold it if I was you. Uh, preparing the Anzacs at home soon. Brighton, Portsmouth, Portsmouth, or Muth or whatever. Yeah, yeah we're getting wrecked still. over there. It's no supply. I think yeah, I, think. I uh, pretty much lost an entire core. That was so stupid of me. Long. Apparently, scape flow, as I said, it's like scape our scapper flow or something like that. I have no idea. It's some random Scottish ride. I'm sorry, guys, but don't take the piss out of me. You might, you might, you might actually get the the mindset that I that I should know this, but I'm not natively English speaking, so I have no idea. American and West Indies station, Africa station, China station, Mediterranean fleet. Okay. But yeah, you've secured the. Oh, too far down. 
You've secured the west side now. You could just push yeah, in. Yeah, I just, I just fucked up though. I lost an entire core because of that. That was really stupid. But it's fine. I'm just gonna sacrifice. Well, not gonna sacrifice, but send another load of men just to oh. take Tripoli or something. Wait, yeah, like, a core really? means like fifty thousand men. Yeah, five divisions. Yeah. All right. Well, that of shit course. happens. When I played as the Canadians, I actually lost. I think it was one or two cores uh, in a fleet. So completely sort of without the chance of trying to even fight their way out they were sunk by like a, a navy so <laughs> that sucks even more at least your men yeah, did some damage but... really like just you don't really need to send your men anywhere else just keep them in Tripoli and Misurata and just play like an attritional war or whatever and then yeah. fight eastwards slowly but safely yeah. you still own a proven, proven province there in Beda Litoria do you still have men there? yeah and I'm invading um to to branch uh, to far like to yeah. far right of it so that should give me a port i'm actually to supply my men whilst i clean up the rest i mean i'll yeah, just go ahead good. and take take benghazi and, and everything should be fine like my navy is absolutely wrecked there's like yeah, i got my good. submarines patrolling all along their coast and my main navy's just going around fucking shit up well i guess that even if you lost the core you'll there still be another like three four years until you get involved in world war one so you'll have time to build them up again, I yeah, guess. I've got my motorized as well going nice. around. For some reason, I have a motorized division. Crete, a separate country. What if their their threat was seventy or something? Like that? <laughs> and they were like, ah, I just bash them in. Their neutrality is zero. No mutual threat is zero. Their threat has to be. I did a tutorial on Hearts of Iron Three today that I'm gonna put. It's like a 45 minute long video where I go <laughs> through everything that wow. I know about the game <laughs> for the rest. And uh, the only thing I messed up on was like, it was really confusing, and I bet I confused a lot of people, but it was the how you declare war on people. I said first that their threat needs to be higher than your neutrality, but it's actually their neutrality needs to be like lower than than you. I don't fucking, I, I see I mess up. It's like, yeah, their threat needs to be equal to your neutrality in order for you to declare war on them, I think. So yeah. if your neutrality is 90 and you're a really neutral country that wouldn't go to war on someone, if Norway had like 90 in neutrality or 19 threat to you, you could declare war on them because they're that much of a threat to you, you know. I think that's how it works. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, uh, that's how it works. All right. I think. Okay, sense. all I need is Benghazi. I mean, I need to wait till March the 1st and then I win the war. So, yeah, it's obviously easily won. I might add a war goal, but maybe try take like something add war goal conquer <laughs> yeah I, well i might what's the on who ultimate empire yeah because conquer I, them wow that'd be insane <laughs> yes. yeah but then again how because that well, you'd need to make your way up to constantino or istanbul and you'd have to fight their mainland forces yeah in... which isn't a lot because but I mean, there's I... still quite a lot the ottoman empire yeah. they're they're fairly no, yeah, but I, I'm playing them as my channel, uh, on my channel, so I, I know pretty much everything. Oh, okay, there. but uh, but I how are you going to deal with sort of... You're first of all going to have to land in, like, yeah. in Albania. I'll just wait to uh, the Balkan Wars. Okay. Right, yeah. okay. Or we yeah, can yeah. give you yeah. access, and you can go through... Yeah, I don't know, because yeah, I think that'll probably end up fucking up the game, because then if I conquer them, what will happen in the Balkan Wars, like... Uh -huh. I might mm -hmm. just wait till... We go to war with them, like in World War One, yeah. and they join, yeah. so that I, I'll just take all their lands yeah. down. Might the, there might be a lot of uh, breaking Spring, of events, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, it's... might as well just let it play out normally. Yeah. My IC okay. is going to be done this June. I've Halfway got four down. battle cruisers on the go as well, or destroyers on the go. Or no, battleships even. Battleships taking a ma oh, th that's going to take you years, I think, unless you began for a long time ago. Uh, uh, they come the 29th of November oh, in 19 1913. Obviously, it's a fucking. Oh, so it's time. two years, right? It's only taken up 29 IC, so that's fine. Yeah. Like, I think that will help me out as well. The, yeah, the, Austri the Austrians have a fairly strong navy, so... Yeah, I yeah. might I might maybe get rid of one, maybe, 
but that's I want I want to have at least three, like extra. Wow. <laughs> Just I have such a huge army right now. Three hundred thirty-three <laughs> brigades. Three hundred and thirty-three brigades. Almost Russian brigades. level. I've yeah. got three hundred and fifty-eight brigades. Ooh. Yeah. And they're all. They're sure? most of them. Yeah. It says if you look, we have two th twenty-three thousand five hundred forty-five officers covering three hundred and fifty-eight brigades, ships, and wings. Oh, and the statistics tab it only shows you have a hundred seventy-three. Well, you you don't know so much about me. I have the uh, I have a fairly big colonial army. My colonial command is a total of one hundred and sixty-one thousand men, and my uh, central command is two hundred and forty-four thousand men. But yeah, I do truly have. He's lying. Minutes. I'm not lying. Look, <laughs> I'm joking. viewers can see. Oh, okay. So you're was... free there. I was like, what? No, <laughs> of course I'm joking. <laughs> oh, I've got okay. in my hands. Uh -huh. oh, really weird. Your microphone just yeah, went really like low. Really low. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that better? Much better. Okay, good. No. Yeah, I just got well, oh, no, it's still, it's still quite low. low. Yeah. Really? Is this no, better? It's, that's better. Oh, this is... It's a bit distorted, I think. Speak again. Hello. No, that's better. It's fine, yeah. Uh, my mouth literally on my microphone, so I'd hope so. Maybe your volume went down, like in your Windows tab below you or something like that, yeah, without maybe. knowing. Adjusting. Hopefully, hopefully this is fine, though. Yeah, it's fine. Good. Yeah, I'm literally just about to win the war, which is nice. Got icy wastage, so sort that out. Yeah, if you're about to win the war, we're in 26.44 minutes in, so. That'll yeah. wrap this up quite nicely. Well, uh, you can stick it on five speed if you want, because I need to get to March the first to um, actually, like, officially put my claims. Hmm. Okay. You gotta take Benghazi, and then you're pretty much secured all of uh, yeah. North Africa. Oh, yeah. the lag on speed five. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not very manageable. <laughs> yeah, do you want to put it down a little bit? Because I mean, well, I just okay. paused it just because I need to quickly do something because I'm being attacked. Okay. Put it on speed four. More manageable. Okay. Well, yeah, there you go. That's cool. I mean, I, I don't understand it myself. You've got so many divisions in France, yet I have another like 20 more brigades than you. But I mean, if I gathered up my entire colonial section, I've got quite a lot in Africa, actually. Uh, quite a lot. And uh, even more so in India. Um, I've got a few stacks down here. Probably yeah, a total so of two cores or something like that. So are we like gonna force, I mean, are we gonna allow Germany to force the Russians into submission and to form Soviets or are we gonna well, interfere? I mean, we want to win the war as long as we win the war. Oh, look at that. The Republic of China and the Chinese Empire fighting now. Interesting. But maybe if uh, like Russia, I mean, if Russia goes out, as soon as they go out, maybe they get an event which makes them the common term, maybe. Mm, the Soviet. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Do you think they do you think they go out of the Entente? I, I, I don't know. I, 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 they think doubt they it, do. But... I, act, I think they do, but I'm not sure. Because there is actually, after all, a common turn on yeah, in the game, yeah. and they might just be moved there automatically, which would be cool, and then we could yeah. fight eat them. them up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, someone actually said that in comments. Yeah. How it is. That'd be pretty cool. Russians yes, have a but... lot of troops on the Swedish border and Norwegian border as well, even though there's barely going troops down. There. Well, I mean, uh, the Russians have their reasons to be to fear the Swedes. After all, <laughs> they have been fighting for like <laughs> 600 years earlier. So, yeah. or not 600 years earlier, but in a total of like ever since Sweden was a nation, they have both been having claims on Finland and. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, if. Uh, Where's Norway? If they had. If they had taken Sweden, Deplex would be speaking I'd Russian be Rush. right now. <laughs> and we would have, yeah, he'd, he'd be commentating in Russian. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think they'd be able to take it, but I mean, well, well, if they'd taken it, well, sooner or later, that would be too much of a large empire, to be honest. I mean, they're nowhere close to yeah. as large as they are today, because Ukraine, Belarus, Poland would be on the map further eastwards there, and Finland, of course, Rigas, um I mean, Estonia, Lithuania, Estland, and all that stuff. No, wait. Est Estland, Estonia. What's it called? Latvia? Lithuania. Lithuania, Estonia, Estonia and Latvia? Is it Latvia? 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's Latvia. Yeah. Because right. I'm uh, mixing up the translation and the, the name of it itself. Okay, soon done with the industrial capacity. Building another five submarines. It's and then I'm going to get started on the ANSACs. Okay, what time are we at? Just out of interest. We are currently at 30 minutes now. So do you guys want to wrap it up for this episode? Oh uh, yeah, sure. All right, sure. so uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for another episode soon. Coming up probably tomorrow. And uh, we'll see you guys soon enough. So bye. See you see later. Ya.